Hi friends, this is Thomas with Bonfire Audio. Today I want to talk about the working environment inside of Adobe Audition 2017. I don't want to compare it to any other versions because quite frankly, most people are updating or going to the Creative Cloud platform and this is what you're going to most likely be working with. So let's not compare it to anything else. So it is what it is. I know a lot of you have worked with Premiere Pro and you have done audio and basic audio enhancement and editing inside of Premiere Pro. That's great. Now you probably want to uh, take your uh, audio sound and mixing to a new level and want to know about Audition. There's all kinds of great tools in here, but first, understanding what is going on, what it looks like, what these panels mean is a great launch pad to mixing and generating awesome sound for your videos. So right off the bat, when you open up Adobe Audition, this is what I see. Now everybody's gonna see uh, maybe their default screen's different. Maybe you've, you've used Audition before, so it's opening up in that default workspace. Excuse me, here we go to window workspace, and you have all kinds of presets and defaults. Right here, something new, I think in 2016 or 17, is the essential sound that they've added with Adobe Audition. I personally do not use essential sound because I'm working, I guess you could say, more of an advanced level. Uh, inside of Adobe Audition, everything I do is not helped or enhanced. I think it will be of a benefit to shorter projects, people who aren't familiar with Audition and don't want to get too deep, but what they do want to use Audition and what it has to offer. So right off the bat, uh, I know we're going to talk about this another time, so I can choose this button here that gives me more options and hit close panel. Now I've just created more space. Here, let's start in the top left actually. So what we have here is they, they brought two panels together into one box, and you can select between them like this. This is my files panel. This is everything that I've recorded or files I brought in. It's going to include video. Waves, AFE, MP3s, any file you're working with inside of your Adobe Audition session will be listed here under Files. Markers are going to be markers that you create or that were imported from the Premiere project that you were working on. If you did Dynamic Link, uh, they will all be here and you can rename them and there's additional parameters as well. Moving to the right, what we have is Properties. Now, properties is, uh, I, I use it all the time if I'm working in the multi-track editor and I want to adjust the gain of a particular clip, I click on that clip and you see right away basic settings becomes untwirled because it's telling me that there's something I can do there. And so I can raise or lower that clip. That's something that's fantastic because if I cut this clip up into multiple clips, now if I wanted to change the volume in each of those, I can do that. Why would I want to? Uh, different situations call for clip gaining quite often. So there's that option. That's all under properties. It also includes the basic info about each clip, which you get by twirling down info. Nice to have that at a quick glance. You have your basic settings again with the trim, if it's locked or looped or muted. Now you got some stretching function to enable and we can talk about that in another tutorial. And then Remix, which is a relatively new feature in Adobe Audition. To the right of our properties panel is video. Now, if I was working with a video, this is where it would be seen. And of course, you know, don't, don't worry about any constraints or the way you see things laid out. Obviously, if you worked with Premiere Pro or similar software, you know that you can change these all day long. Uh, one thing I love about Premiere Pro is just how easy it is to change where things are at. So just quickly, easy to customize your workspace uh, anytime and however you need to, to do that. So that is your video. And again, that file would be found over here. If you brought in a video file, you would find that over here under your files panel. So, okay, follow me over here to our effects panel. Effects, so they've kind of have them truncated over here in a certain manner where you see uh, a media browser effects and as I click on one it, op it opens up the other ones so uh, media browser is going to be accessing your hard drives very basically the same as, as Premiere Pro and you can check your desktop your hard drives all that good stuff it's, it's all going to be in there your effects that's going to be uh, either your effects applied to the track entirely which I have no effects on this track or if you want to apply effects to clips individually you can also do that from here very powerful uh, to be able to go from clip effects to track effects. 
And uh, I look forward to sharing uh, some more tips on that in another video as well. History is all of your history. Uh, very straightforward. Down below is Selection View. And quite frankly, I don't use Selection View. It's nice that it's uh, there, but I usually go ahead and close that panel to give me more real estate on all my screens. Actually, I do that with history too, because if I need to undo something, I just uh, do my old Command Z. So I will go ahead and close the history panel, giving me more real estate to see things that I need to see. All the way over here to the right is our levels. Now you can put that levels on the bottom. You can put it just about wherever you want. I like it at the bottom. And, uh, and it's fine and it can be resized as well. Well, generally it can be resized. There we go. So if you like it big or you like it to just be minimal down there at the bottom. Here in the middle, what I've got is the editor and mixer. These are your, your heart and soul of mixing audio, essentially. And these are what's going to take up most of your real estate on your monitor. You're going to be working with your mixer, which is going to make it easier to route your, your tracks, uh, mono and stereo tracks to, to separate buses. And you can also apply effects in here. You can actually customize the mixer to see the levels of your trims for each individual track. You can see thins, you can see effects, or you can minimize those and not see them. It's completely up to you. And that is an essential, to me, it's an essential panel inside of any DAW. Okay, so with the multi-track editor, this is also the heart and soul of what I do and use constantly inside of Adobe Audition. So this is the linear fashion and format of seeing all of your clips laid inside the, uh, the program. And so it starts basically from the beginning of a time all the way to the end of a time. I just absolutely love the multi-track editor. I can quickly add fades. I can quickly do uh, automation and envelopes for volume of anything of that sort. I can, I can easily undo it, right click, select all keyframes, delete selected keyframes, now I'm back to zero. It's just very, very uh, nicely visually laid out, neat and clean, simple to see. You can easily grab the track parameters and, and, and resize that in a heartbeat. You can recolor by clicking on the little coloring box and choosing any color that pleases your eyes. If you want to make all of your VO one specific color, you want to make all of your dialogue a color, sound effects and music and so on and so forth, it just makes it nice to look at and is easily decipherable at a quick glance of what tracks you're working with. So, mixer, editor, level, here at the bottom, your effects, media, browser, files, markers, properties, video. If you go up here, you can choose window and you can add additional windows. If you've lost them, if you've closed them and you want them back, you can choose history. Bam, you got it back. No worries. Um, you can save this workspace. You can create a new one. Edit workspace, save as a new workspace. And so again, there's really no limit to how you can modify your workspace and make it yours. Make it fit your eyes, make it fit your project. You can use one of the uh, presets that they choose for all sorts of different tasks involved in mixing audio. If you wanna look at the old classic view, if you wanna do the uh, essential mixing video, which would start you off with a nice big video screen here, properties right next to that and you know you can toggle back and forth between editor and mixer guys thank you for watching i hope this helps when you jump into adobe audition 2017 it's not going to be unfamiliar to you you'll have an idea of how to lay things out customize stuff what that panel does how to make it disappear how to make it bigger how to get it back this is a great launch pad for making great audio and i thank you have a blessed day we'll talk soon